Hey guys, this is Sean Klinger with Vital MX. Uh, we are in Packwood, Washington, which is in the Pacific Northwest, which is known for the Goonies, Sparkly Vampires, and excellent dual sport riding. That's why we're here. It's the Honda CRF 450L. It's the brand new bike for 2019. It's based on a, the R, the motocross version, and we'll have the technical kind of run through with Jason um, on all the differences between the R and the L. So the 2019 CRF 450L is based off the CRF 450 platform that was released in 2017. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot like the race model, the 450R, um, but you know it has the, the same uh, 449cc Unicam engine, uh, electric start, downdraft intake. It has all that same features and look of the race model. But you know, in order to make it a dual sport model, uh, there was quite a bit done to the, the bike itself. Um, you know, focusing on the engine. Uh, I think the big thing for this model is a six speed wide ratio transmission. Um, the Honda hasn't had a, a six speed transmission in any of their off-road models in the past. So with this model, you know, all new dedicated cases. Uh, we have dedicated ECU settings, but internally, uh, the, the crank has uh, extra uh, mass on the crank, uh, journals, and then you have extra weight on the clutch basket. Um, so all that put together with the uh, powerful Unicam engine, um, it, basically, it basically smooths out the power and makes it more manageable for you know, your everyday dual sport off-road usability. Another, another key point of this model is vibration and sound dampening. So it might not seem like a big deal, but this model has these, uh, these trick uh, plastic covers on the outside. Not only do they protect the bike in off-road situations where you, you know, say you might hit a rock or, uh, or tree roots or whatnot if you fall, but they also reduce sound. You know, something that everybody's been commenting so far from the press intro is, is just how quiet this, this engine is. And, uh, and again, like how strong the power is uh, for a street legal uh, model from American Honda. You also have larger capacity radiators and then also a uh, radiator fan to keep it cool while you're on the trail. Um, another aspect of this motorcycle which makes it street legal is the dedicated exhaust for uh, you know, on-road use. This model, it's very, very quiet. So what it, the goal is to you know, kind of be stealthy, right? So, you have, uh, with the dual sport, you're gonna be in a wide variety of, of, of terrain, um, up in the hills, you might even be closer to uh, some houses. So with this, with this quiet exhaust, it, uh, it allows you to travel more places than say something that's a little bit louder. So the chassis on the CRF 450L, uh, again, is based off the CRF 450 platform from 2017 uh, and current. Um, you know, one of the big differences on this frame is the fact that it houses the new six-speed transmission and the new engine. Through the center spars, we're looking at about 15 millimeters wider uh, in order to house that. And then it's also been tuned for off-road and street use as well. It has a subframe that actually goes all the way to, towards the end of the, the rear fender. And the rear fender is actually just a shell. What this does is it allows you to, you know, put luggage on here and strap down, you know, your tools and necessities for off-road and dual sport riding uh, without having to sacrifice uh, stability. Um, you know, another very kind of a, you know, premium part of this model is the uh, titanium fuel tank. Um, the two gallon titanium fuel tank, it kind of carries over from, you know, the CRF platform as well. And you know, some people might, might think that this would add cost. It's actually a lower cost to produce a, this titanium gas tank than say, you know, a, a aluminum or a plastic, but it's, it's all DOT uh, emissions, all that, everything is, is passed uh, using this titanium material. The suspension on the 450L is the same suspension that's used across the board in, this, in the new CRF performance line. Um, the forks are the 49 millimeter work style, forks, you have the Showa shock, a ProLink uh, rear end, but the internals have been uh, adjusted obviously for off-road dual sport use. You know, this is an off-road model and it is gonna be taking off-road trails and you are gonna fall down. So what, what Honda did is they have these, uh, these new blinkers that actually bend in a 90 degree fashion. 
So if you do fall over, you're gonna be okay. So in the past, when you've had blinkers, they're usually either hard mount or they have just a, a slight rubber type mount. This is, this is a, a new technology. Um, you have uh, front and rear sprockets that have a damper system on, on both front and rear, which reduce noise. The, uh, you have the O-ring chain, the 18 inch rear wheel, but another part of the, uh, of the model that really stands out is a urethane filled swing arm. So it really, really dampens the sound. It gets rid of the harmonics from the rear end. It reduces chain slap. There's almost, chain slap noise is almost non-existent with this model. So you take, you take in, into consideration that, you know, Honda reduced the engine noise, you reduce the chassis noise, and, uh, and all of that basically reduces vibration and adds comfort. Um, so, you know, the roadworthiness of the CRF450L is really a, a big factor when they, were, when they were designing this model. It's very, very compliant on road and comfortable, but also uh, you have the CRF performance in this package. So once you hit the dirt and you go off road, you can be, uh, you can be confident that you have, you know, all the power and the handling and the performance that you're looking for. Uh, so initial impressions, actually my, my favorite part of the bike is the, the suspension. Um, sometimes dual sport bikes with the balance of comfort versus performance, sometimes they go a little bit too much in the comfort zone. Super plush, you know, riding a couch. And this bike is very much a performance suspension setup. I even softened up the compression a little bit on the fork. Um, and overall, it gives it a, a fun riding characteristic, and uh, it's, it's really fun to connect different parts of the trail and jump over knuckles into a different rock, into uh, some, some roots, and it's, it's really, you can attack the trail, ride it very aggressively. The, the power is a few more steps away from the, the R than the suspension. There's still the base characteristic of the R in this engine, but it's been mellowed out. It's very linear. It's still 450, you know it's 450, there's a strong power from, from the motor, um, but it just is a, a slightly calmer version of the R. So another part that I really liked was the, the transmission. With other dual sport bikes, there could be, you know, first and second are close and low, and then there's a big gap to third for the street, but with this bike, it's a six speed, and one through six um, gear, first gear's really low, six gear's high for the highway, and there's a nice even pacing between all of the gears. I was in second gear most of the time for the, the tight single track that we were riding today and it worked really well. Overall, the handling is, it retains some of that, that nimble, easy to flick around characteristic that the R has, but since the engine cases are wider, it does feel a little wider between the pegs and between your knees because of the bigger tank. Um, there is extra weight on this bike compared to the R and you can notice that when you have to turn quickly like a, like a 90 or a 180 on the trail. Uh, that weight kind of shows itself when you try to get the whole bike to pivot somewhere rather than if you're just going down the trail and you're dodging trees and rocks and stuff, it still has that real light kind of uh, flickability that the R does. Um, overall, really stoked on this bike. I think Honda nailed it right out the gate. I think Honda dudes are gonna be stoked to have a real dirt bike, a real 450 with a license plate and uh, for more videos, go to vitalmx.com and thanks for watching.